Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So look at this. We just got a new package from PCBWay and what could it be? Oh, it's our open hardware ESC. So today is going to be the first part of the video where we're going to be salvaging components in order to build it. Obviously it doesn't come like this. It comes vacuum sealed, but when I first received it, I just couldn't wait and I had to open them. So I've created this ESC as modular form. If you have been watching my videos, this is the logic board and this is the backboard where the FETs will go and the motor would connect to. And the reason why I did this is because we can try out different FETs and trying out all types of things. And if anyone wanted to create their own, they just, just replace the backboard, test it out, everything is great, then they can make their own final version. It is looking really, really nice. Let's take a closer look before we hop in there. So while we're looking at this, what I'm gonna do right now is we are gonna bring in some ESCs, we're gonna salvage some components from them and then start installing them. So this is gonna be a two part video. The logic part is gonna be a longer step because there's a lot more components on here. But today I can guarantee you that we will build the back end and also salvage the components. So before we start, huge shout out to PCBWay. You should definitely check them out. I'll have their link down below. They do hella fast manufacturing and delivery and they also have absolutely superb quality. So this is the reason why I love using them and let's start. All right, so the backboard is complete here and let's take a quick look at what we've done. Now we have the logic board, which will have the firmware, the BB2 and the BL Heli S running. That's the software needed in order to run this ESC. It's the well-known software in the drone community as well as the FPV wing community as well. So right now we just finished the backboard. It's using these FETs. These are Toshiba FETs that I've salvaged from a Racer Star MS series. These are really old ESCs. And here are the resistors here. These I use 25.5 ohms on all of these resistors right here. Um, I don't know if that's a good value, but what we want to do is want to start with a high dead time. And I'll explain that in a later video. Um, but if you've missed the previous videos on the whole building of this ESC and the designing and everything, I'll have the playlist linked down below. Now, this is the logic board. And the way that it'll be mounted on is just basically soldered onto these points right here as you can tell right there now the bb2 chip will go right there and this is the fet driver and if you've noticed the first thing i salvaged was the uh diodes the reason for that is is because i didn't order any and i've actually set them up as the wrong size so luckily i found an esc with the same size fets and it was the racer star uh i think 80 amp esc so i took those here we have the fet driver the four tier fet driver and here we have a bb2 chip right here so it's gonna be good. And I just took these just for fun, these really big capacitors here and those small ones, just because I wanted to. So we have everything here for the next video. I'll prepare everything in order to set this up. Now, if you're asking where did I get the resistors from, because I just showed you where we got the diodes from, I got the resistors from this book right here. This is really like a sample book I purchased from Banggood. They last forever, so you can get the size. I'll have everything linked down below that I use in this video. Even this little tool, I'm actually using it more often now. And um, it works really, really great. Actually, let me show you how this thing works. It's so awesome. So I just wanted to double check if they're all within because, you know, you, you just never know with resistors uh, if they're going to be, you know, one of these could be a 24 ohm resistor and that could cause us issues maybe down the road. Not sure. So I just wanted to verify that with this tool. It just makes it super easy. All I have to do is just touch the resistor and it'll give us the reading 25.7. What is this one? 25.7. Awesome. What is this one? 25.6. That's not a really big difference, which is really great. We don't want to see like... Uh, a huge difference, like a 27 ohm or a 100 ohm or something. So in this perspective, it's really great. And this is a really great tool so far. I really am enjoying it and it makes my life a lot easier. This one's gonna be a bit challenging. So we'll, I'll be building this next and then uh, we'll be flashing it and testing it out on my thrust stand. And we'll see how well everything goes and see what we can modify. And there's gonna be a lot of things to learn from this. And I'll be able to show you and teach you about ESCs through the oscilloscope with a board this large. It'll make our life a lot easier. And if anyone wanted to prototype out there, 
I'll have the link to the playlist where I explain everything in detail. And uh, the next video, we should see the final form and see it in action. So that's concluded for this video, guys. Please make sure you check out the links down below to PCBWay as well as everything here. Those greatly support the channel. And I do have a Patreon if you could support me and enable me to do more projects like this. That would be super awesome. And well, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace out.